What's going on troops? Jeff Bowders here at Drum Discipline Academy. And for today's classic rock fills that rip, we're gonna check out the double bass rock drumming legend, Tommy Aldridge. So actually this fill that we're gonna study from Tommy today, it's a single kick fill. So for all you non double bass drummers out there, you're welcome, but why aren't you playing double bass? You know you want to, you know you need to. Also make sure to hit the link to download the PDF for this lesson so you can follow along and know exactly what's going on. All right, so let's do this. Here we go. The fill that we're gonna study and break down today is from a song called Crazy Train. Crazy Train is a staple in the catalog of amazing classic rock songs. The version that we're gonna study though is from the live tribute to Randy Rhodes album by Ozzy Osbourne, obviously. The studio version of the song has Lee Kerslake on drums. Lee was the drummer for Uriah Heep and he played on Ozzy's first two solo records. But today we're gonna focus on Tommy because Tommy's playing on this record. It's, it's phenomenal. There's so many awesome highlights. If you haven't heard this album, what are you doing? You gotta check it out. If you haven't heard it in a while, you gotta revisit it. It's just super inspiring. I love this record. Man, I remember the first time I heard it. It still inspires me to this day. Like I said, tons of cool highlights, amazing fills, even has the, the classic Tommy Aldridge drum solo in the song Steal Away the Night. So you gotta check it out, but today we're just gonna check out one fill at the beginning of Crazy Train. So let's do it, here we go. All right, first, let's just break down the basic rhythm of this fill. This fill actually sets up the main groove of the entire song. It follows that anthemic guitar intro we all know and love, where Tommy's just playing four on the floor, playing quarter notes on the bass drum but the fill starts on the and of four, or the pickup beat of, of beat four, if you will. And he's playing three 16th note triplets playing into beat one, and then it follows with a bass drum on the and of one. So it sounds like this. This is one A on your PDF. One, Let's check it out. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now just play that same four note phrase starting on beat two. This is gonna be one B. Now in the rudimental world, we call these four stroke roughs. You probably play them all the time because they're super fun and they're super cool, right? All right, now finally for beat three, we're gonna play our favorite hand foot combination of three notes with the hand, right, left, right, and then one note with the bass drum, ending with a big fat flam on beat four. This is one C, one, here we go. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Now let's see what it sounds like when we apply it to the kit, Tommy Aldridge style. Now with drum fills that incorporate a lot of different toms, sometimes it's a little difficult to really differentiate what tom is being used and which one isn't. So this is essentially my best guess as to what toms Tommy is actually using and how he's orchestrating the, this fill. But ultimately the goal is for, for you to understand the basic idea, the basic rhythm, and then start exploring and, and finding your own orchestrations, your own voicings, finding your own version of it so you can create your unique voice. That's the whole point of this, right? The first four note rough is played between toms two and three, just playing two notes on tom two and then two notes on tom three, followed with the bass drum on the end of one, right? So this is two one, A. Two. Now the second four note rough is exactly the same thing. The only difference is that last left, right, left, right, left, we're gonna come down to the snare drum. This is two B. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. All right, finally, we're gonna finish it off here with once again, our favorite hand foot combination, but now we're gonna orchestrate it as snare drum, 
Tom 1, Tom 3, bass drum, and then we're going to play that fat flam on beat 4, finishing off with the and of 4 on the bass drum, because that leads in to beat 1. That's a nice transition point to it. So this is 2C. Here we go. One, two. Awesome. Let's put it all together. Here one, we go. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Now you can also mix up this fill by starting it on a different place of the measure or different beat. This version, we can actually start on beat one. So check it out how it kind of gives it a little bit different character. This is number three on the PDF. One, Here we go. Two. All right, now that's just one of a ton of different variations. I just I just wanted to quickly show you how you could take the super cool fill and just kind of change it a little bit and give it a, a different feel. And ultimately, that's that's what I want you to do. Like I mentioned before, change the voicings, come up with something exciting, something that's uniquely yours, so you can develop it, create it, and and offer to the rest of the world, and we can all be inspired by it. So if you got some value from this lesson, can you please like and subscribe? It would mean a lot to me and this channel. And also leave me a comment. Let me know what your most inspiring Tommy Aldridge performance is. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. All right, until next time, stay focused and practice with purpose. We'll see you soon.